Well, new this morning, we know one Tucson business is wanting to connect people through art here in the community. Yeah, Creative Kind is a local card and gift shop. They're bringing back their hands-on workshops for the first time since the pandemic. Brooke Chow's been talking to them this morning and joins us now at their shop at La Encantada. Hey, Brooke. Hey guys, yeah, I brought you to the children and baby section for Claire. If you're just now waking up with us on Good Morning Tucson, this is probably the first time you've seen this furry friend. This is a javelina made out of recycled water bottle. And believe it or not, it's really soft, so you would never know. But we're in Tucson. I had to show you the javelina. I had to wake you up with this this morning. This might be a little alarming to some people. Some people like them, some people don't. This one's soft, so I like him. But take a look over here. You can see lots of the cool stuff that they have. They have a plethora of items like cards, stationery, kids stuff. All of them really have that Tucson desert touch which makes it so special. It's really a mix between local makers and small businesses from all around the country, 90% of which are owned by women. Same thing with like the little gifts, even if you send like a little notepad or a little pen set that you see that reminds you of someone. I think a lot of people that happens a lot when they're in here, they're like, oh, this would be perfect for so-and-so, or this would be perfect, oh, they, I have to send this to them. It's those little things that are unique and different that you don't see all the time that kind of make people remember like friendship and family and all of those like good feelings. They also specialize in craft workshops that were put on hold for a few years because of the start of the pandemic. So they're really looking for people to come back and get involved. These will start back up next month, September, believe it or not, we're almost here. So far, there are three events you can look forward to, like a macrame plant holder workshop, a Taylor Swift art night, and an earring making workshop. Now, there's, of course, lots of things to do. And I have someone special here that you're going to meet in just a second. But real quick, I want to let you know about what they're doing for the month of August. We know in September, they're doing the workshops in August. They're going to be giving some of their online proceeds to teachers in Arizona to help them fulfill their wish list. So you have two days to do that and purchase something online to help out some teachers. But let's welcome in Teresa here, owner of Creative Kind. Now, I know during the pandemic, there was a helpful local resource that really was vital to your business. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure. We were lucky enough to work with Community Investment Corp, a local nonprofit, and we had some plans in the works pre-pandemic to do some growth, and they were helping us set up a Kiva loan for that, which is a community-funded loan program. And... Thankfully, we did that when we did because going into the pandemic, we really needed those funds to help us cover operational expenses and stay in business here at La Encantada. Awesome. Keeping it local, staying local, and of course, lots of exciting things that you guys have planned here in August and September. But for now, reporting live at La Encantada, I'm Brooke Chow, Kega 9. Lots of cool stuff going on there. Looks like a fun little place to stop yes. by. Yes, uh, letting us know if uh, we feel intimidated trying to knit things with our hands. It's a yeah, welcoming place be. to try uh, something creative. Very cool.